Hello, happy Friday. I am here to talk to you today about pain. And the question that comes to mind about pain is what if feeling your pain is the answer to your question? And whatever that question might be, how do I feel better? How do I function better? How do I have success at work or in my career or as an entrepreneur? How do I create the life I want to live? How do I, well, be happier with myself or find that special someone to have a relationship with? What if the answer to all those questions is feeling your pain. Because I do think, and I ask that question, because it is a question that, well, those are all questions that we have asked ourselves or are currently asking ourselves. They are questions that um, our friends, our loved ones ask. How do I get more out of life? How do I, well, change things about my life? How do I live the life, the vibrant life that I want to be living? How do I live my dreams? How do I travel more? Whatever the case might be, I wonder and put out there that your answer may be feeling your pain. And the reason I say that is because so often what can initially bring people into my office is they have some form of pain and they want to get out of it. They want it to go away. They want it to get it to stop. And what they've been doing hasn't worked. I remember this for myself. I remember when I was in pain every day for a long time, for over a year. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kelly. And... I remember being in pain and I remember thinking I just wanted it to stop. I just wanted it to go away. I mean, who wants pain? I don't know anybody. Well, I don't know anybody who does not if they're in a a healthy place, but I say that because I do believe the answer or one of the answers is to feel your pain. So what do I mean by that? Often when people come into the office, I learn what's going on, where the pain is, and that can be physical, emotional, mental, spiritual pain. And it can show up feeling like in the body in a physical form or in their life in some way. And they may share everything that they've been doing or that they've tried. They may be really frustrated. They may be, um, well, at their wit's end. And I know this for myself as well. I can remember when it was day in and day out with pain. I wanted somebody to give me the answers. I wanted somebody to find them for me. And through, well, a number of things, I did connect to the right healers, to the right professionals who did help me get out of at least that migraine pain. But what I've discovered over the years on my own personal healing journey and of working with so many others to help them relieve pain, alleviate pain, heal pain is one of the answers is actually feeling your pain. Now, does that mean that we have to make it hard Does that mean we have to struggle with it? Does that mean we have to be in extreme pain? No, not necessarily. I do think at times, I know for myself, I, yeah, I would absolutely say this about myself, that I made my healing journey more challenging at times for lots of reasons. It could have been based on old patterns, old beliefs. Yeah, things that I just thought. And... What I've come to discover 
over time is that sometimes the best thing that we can do for our body, for our being, for ourselves, physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, is literally feel the pain. It doesn't mean to numb it with medications or, well, some other substance, whether it's topical, internal, um, to not, yeah, is to not necessarily push it away, get it to go away, certainly to cover it up. And that's what a lot of the answers that people are getting when they're going to their doctors, when they're going to their healers, is take this medication, do this surgery, um, take this supplement, use this product. When, when it really comes down to it, you have the ability to heal. You are your most powerful healer. And I've really come to own that and believe that and understand that. And what I would recommend, and I have some people in my office right now or who are here earlier who are in extreme, well, I won't say extreme pain. They are in a lot of pain. And they try to figure out everything that they can do to get it to stop. What's the right position? What's the right product? What's the right medication? Do I use ice? Do I use heat? Like, which, which doctor do I go to? Which professional do I go to? Which, you know, what do I do? And the list is endless. But wanting to find that right combination or that right thing to just have the pain go away. So I raise the question. What if feeling the pain, acknowledging the pain, maybe even leaning into the pain is the answer? Giving yourself the time and the space to experience it. Again, not extreme pain, not debilitating, necessarily debilitating pain or pain that, you know, what's happening is requires a professional immediately. Um, but we work so hard to like just eradicate pain in any way possible that I think we eradicate, block, put obstacles in the way, numb, cover up the path to our healing, the path to, yeah, the path to our healing. I discovered this about myself some months back. Well, actually, it's probably longer than that now, where I listened to my intuition. And I would recommend that you do this. If you're in a lot of pain and you're trying to make decisions, especially if it's a new pain, if it's an acute pain, something that you know came on suddenly or you know there was an injury of some kind, and you know again, not life-threatening, that that you don't know what to do with it. You know, you haven't learned to live with it. Before you make decisions on how to follow up and how to take care of yourself, stop, breathe, bring your tension and stress level that probably has gone up to be pretty high, bring it down. Bring it down to a lower level. You can do that by doing some deep breathing, some meditation, maybe some quiet music so that way you're in a better state of mind a better state of being to make that decision and then ask yourself what's the best course of action to take you know, if you're looking at ice or heat do i take a medication or not do i rest or move do i go to the doctors or not and I know that if you take the time to do that, the decisions that you make to take care of yourself at that time will support you. You will get better results than making decisions when you're in that high stressed state. And what I've come to discover at times and with my own healing is that the quickest way to the healing is to feel the pain. Now, that's one of the things that I do here in my office is I support people during those times of pain, like the person I was talking about who's in quite a bit of pain right now. 
his body is healing and I'm here to support him. He knows he can contact me. He knows he can communicate with me that he's not doing this alone. And that's one of the key factors for myself of being able to lean in and feel the pain when that's what my body is asking for, for that path to healing, not just cover it up, not just cut it out, not just, um, yeah, numb it with medications or surgery or some other um, means that the body might not want or need at that time. If you wonder about this, if you think I'm crazy, if you're, yeah, would like to discuss it, ask questions, of course you can post those below. And before I forget, why would we want to feel the pain? Often, it leads to a quicker recovery. And again, pain, that term is relative. But leads to a quicker recovery, deeper healing, and also the big aha, the big space opener, the rewards. Um, yeah, there's so much that happens once you move through that pain or discomfort, loss of function, whatever it might be. And again, the people who are working with me do this with my support. They're not trying to figure it out on their own. Because what I'm saying might be, yeah, like I said, you might think I'm crazy. Um, it might be triggering you because, um, of course, you want to be out of pain. That's the goal. And I can tell you that we do get out of pain. I get out of pain. The people I support get out of pain. And their life is vibrant. It's big. It's, yeah, good things, juicy things, awesome things show up in the space that that pain was taken. So if you're at all interested in hearing more, learning more, asking me questions, Feel free to put comments or questions below. Also, you can private message me or schedule a time with me to talk further about these things. I look forward to connecting with you. I'm sending love and health and ease in your transformation until we connect again. Bye.